parents have been asking for my aid, I guess you'd say first aid, in regard to what they should keep in a first aid kit. Well, let me bandage up those concerns and provide some information on this topic. Each year, emergency departments see more than 9 million minor injuries, and many of these can be handled at home, assuming a first aid kit exists at home, as well as in the car to deal with a problem. Any first aid kit should have various sizes of bandages, adhesive tape, sterile gauze, a cold pack, alcohol-based wipes or hand rubs, soap, and a pair of latex-free rubber gloves. A family will also want to have ibuprofen, acetaminophen, and antihistamine for allergies or itchy insect bites, as well as hydrocortisone ointment and perhaps some calamine lotion for poison ivy and other itchy skin rashes. An EpiPen is essential for those who are predisposed to having a severe allergic reaction to particular foods or insects. Finally, a thermometer, scissors, tweezers, and a flashlight can be helpful as well. Besides what's in the kit, there should be a list of emergency numbers on hand inside or near the kit so one can easily reach the police, fire department, and healthcare professionals for any and all family members. It's also a great idea to keep immunization records nearby as well as a mini health history for each family member summarizing key medical problems and a CPR how-to guide that hopefully will never have to be used. The kit should also contain health insurance information and information regarding prescription medications. Families should replace whatever they use in the kit and check it every few months for expired medications. You can certainly find first aid kits at the Red Cross or in some stores, or you can talk to your healthcare professional and make the kit up yourself. For school-aged children, you may want to make a child-safe version that has no medications or sharp objects, but can be accessed by children while waiting for an adult to arrive and provide help. In this way, first aid can be started as soon as possible for an injury when an adult is not immediately present to lend a hand. Hopefully, tips like these will be just what the doctor ordered when it comes to putting a first aid kit together for your family. This is pediatrician Dr. Lewis First from the University of Vermont Children's Hospital reminding you to stay safe and to always be first with your kids.